What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn. So I got to hold this phone down. This piece of trash cop. This piece of trash cop want to get on the side of me. Look, check this out. What I want y'all to do, if y'all, look, if y'all getting taxes, take your money, put your money to the side for your taxes. Do not go out and spend all of that money on taxes. If you got three, four thousand dollars, take that money, pay your mortgage up three, four months. You ain't, look, you ain't even got to pay your mortgage up three, four months. Take that money and, and invest it in yourself or in your business, because look, you wasn't planning on getting that money anyway. Now that you is getting that money, don't take that money, go blow it, go put it on this, go put it on that. Cause see, look, I told y'all that cop was on the side of me. Look, you know what I've been, you look, you know what I've been hearing at my full time job? It, look, when, look, tax season, everybody bold. Everybody bold doing taxi. This is what I'm hearing doing tax season. Oh, I don't need the job. Oh man, they can lay me off. Oh, I'm straight. Man, I got plenty of money. Oh man, we good. I mean, we going on vacation this year. Or no, this weekend. Listen, that is smoke screen and mirrors is all it is. Give them to the 4th of July. They'll be begging for overtime. Guys like this, look. When you got a clown like that, you give him enough rope so he can hang himself. Let him talk all the trash he wants. And when the 4th of July come around, you put your foot on his neck. I'm telling you, listen, people do it all the time. They get their tax money, they waste it, buy Jordans, go on vacation, buy 80 inch TVs. And look, in the 4th of July, you wake up broke, begging for overtime. Christmas time roll around, you're running up credit cards to buy your kids a gift. And each year you're repeating the cycle because you don't want to change and it's so sad. Uh, look, listen, listen. I know people, look, I know people that was 300 pounds, they dropped down to 100 pounds. They can, they can start, they can post on YouTube on how they lost all this weight, come up with the course, come up with the meal plan, they won't do it. They want to pay, they want to post on Facebook so everybody can see them. You post it on Facebook and you ain't getting paid for it. I know this one lady, she recorded, she would be her and her kids making videos and everybody be commenting on them, liking the videos, but you're posting them on Facebook for free and you're not getting a dime for it. This guy know not to work on a car with his eyes closed, but he refused to start his own business. This a guy know know how to detail a car real good, but he refused to start his own business. This a girl I know know how to braid hair real good, but she refused to start her own business. It's another girl I know to know how to paint real good. She refused to start her own business. People like that, you disown them. You do, you do not associate with people like that. You cut them off. They got a disease on them that you don't want to be around. They don't want nothing out of They do not want nothing out of life. And they will, they will hate you for being successful. I watched this video of this one lady. She said, I've sacrificed to sacrifice to finally become successful. But I never wanted to turn my back on the friends I grew up with. I've had this best friend since elementary. She's always settled with her job, but I'm tired of being the rich friend to her. She would ask me for money. When her birthday come around, she expect me to buy her the purse she always wanted because she can't afford it herself. And then when I say no, she look at me like, I know you got the money. That is a sad position to be in, to have a poor best friend. That's one thing I never, ever done in my life. To make, look, I made sure I had a friend on the same level as me. Ain't no way I'm gonna have a poor best friend. How can two walk together except they be agreed? You're poor? You think I'm gonna make you my best friend? Heck no, nah. I'm about to block your number and disown you. I don't want your disease to rub off on me because you decided to be poor. That's like me being, a, that's like me being friends with a big time dope drug dealer in, in my town. They gonna associate me with you, man, and lock me up. Heck no, I ain't associating with that. Get them people from around you. Look, if you have to look, if you have to cut all your friends up, cut all your friends off, cut them off. You don't want that negativity crap around you with poor people. 
heck no. That's no way to live. And I'm, I'm not going to live like that. And I hope y'all don't live like that.